Hey there, everyone. This is Ian Costello, um, lead woodworker at Wormwood Gaming, and I'm here to run down with you today the building of the Masterwork Vault. We've got a collection of materials for this project that I think are going to look really great together. We've got a piece of um, Burmese Sal Burl, which is uh, from an East Asian tree, uh, Southeast Asian, I'm sorry. And uh, we're also going to be using some silver stringing, and the base is going to be ebony. All right, to begin, we just need some very basic layout, essentially one line, the width of the hero vault. Now we're going to rip on the bandsaw along that line. Now that our chunk of burl is cut off, we're simply going to face and joint to get a 90 degree edge. We take that blank now to the bandsaw so that we can resaw as many pieces of veneer as we can get. So starting to resaw on the bandsaw here, we try to cut our slices at a little less than a 16th of an inch. That way you can get a lot of you know, square footage out of a piece of wood and you can really utilize materials that are you know, expensive and some fairly rare to their fullest potential. And here we have the payoff. Beautiful selection of veneers, perfect book matches that we can select through for grain and figure match. And now we're gonna be taking them to the drum sander to finish them off. So after drum sanding to our final thickness, uh, we're gonna go over to the table saw to cross cut these to nice, even, consistent squares. So for gluing this veneer down, just a standard wood glue and adequate clamping pressure are all that's needed for a great result. So now we're gonna be installing the ebony binding and the silver stringing around the saw burl veneer. So to install the binding, we're going to use the table saw to cut out precise channels to the depth of the ebony and the silver before installation. If the channels don't come out absolutely perfect, they can easily be tuned up with a shoulder plane. All the ebony binding that we use for this project, we milled ourselves from solid stock on the table saw. Now we're gonna cut 45 degree corners uh, on the ebony banding to make perfect miters. The silver banding also has to be mitered in the same way we did the ebony, and then they get glued in at the same time. Now we'll rough sand the hero vault all the way around to make sure everything is consistent We'll route the 45 degree chamfers all around both sides and then move into our final sanding. And there we have the masterwork vault. Um, I think it came together very well. Uh, the color of the Sol Burl really deepened and looks great, you know, being set off with that silver wire and the ebony background is just like the perfect thing to tie it all together. All right, uh, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, the making of the masterwork vault. Um, Please, you know, share it um, on Facebook with your friends, anyone who's interested in fine craftsmanship or great gaming. And uh, thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you again soon.